she was counting by the time she was three. By 10, she was in high school, the only black girl in her class. She graduated with top honors, but no one would hire a black woman to do math. Not until NASA started looking for computers who could think. While others typed formulas, Catherine solved them by hand. She calculated launch windows, re-entry angles, orbital flight paths, but when it was time for the meeting, she wasn't invited. The math is correct, she said. I did it myself. In 1962, John Glenn refused to fly until Catherine checked the numbers. She gave the go-ahead. He orbited Earth and landed safely. She worked 33 years without a name on the plaque. Today, her name is written in the stars.